In this video, we will be going over the theory behind the math examples. Let's begin now on MathCat. Three, two, one. We're going to multiply by a two-digit number in a special case where the bottom number has a zero in it. For example, 84 times 20. When the bottom number has a zero in it, I'll first multiply it the long way through. Zero times four is zero. Zero times eight is zero. And then we move to the two, and I'll write the answer underneath the two. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is 16. And then we would add up the two rows. Zero plus zero, anywhere where there's a blank, we assume it to be zero. Zero plus zero is zero. Zero plus eight is eight. Zero plus six is six. Zero plus one is one. So in the special case where there's a zero, we can save a step. Instead of multiplying through by zero and then creating a second row, when there's a zero in the bottom number, you simply bring it down and then start immediately with the next number over. Instead of multiplying the whole number through by zero and starting a second row, just bring the zero down and place your answer underneath the two in the same row. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is 16. So you get the same answer without having to create the second row and do the special addition. Let's try 46 times 40. Bring the zero down. Then start using the 4 in the same row and write the answer underneath the 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Carry the 2, multiply, and add. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 is 18. And that's the answer, 1,840. Let's see what happens when we have two zeros. 451 times 500. Okay, we'll bring the 0 down. The next number is 0. We'll bring this 0 down. And then we'll start multiplying with a 5 and write the answer under the 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Write down the 5, carry the 2. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 2 is 22. 225,500. And we did it all in one step. And just so there's no confusion, if there was a 0 in the top number, like 450 times 23, we can't use the shortcut in this case. We'll start with a 3 and we'll have to multiply all the way through and use two rows. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 4 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Next we use the 2 in its own row. Write the answer underneath the 2. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 5 is 10. We'll write down the 0 and carry the 1. Multiply and then add. 2 times 4 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Then we add up the two rows. 0 plus 0 is 0. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 0 is 3. 1 plus 9 is 10. 10,350. So that's the special technique that you can use when there's a 0 in the bottom number. 